Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Precious Ubuese. Um, and in this video, we'll quickly look at addition and subtraction of vectors. Okay, now, if uh, we have this diagram, look at this. Um, and then this way, these are straight lines. Please don't mind my diagram. Here is B. Here is C and here is A. And we want to, you know, make a, this journey from A to C. There are two possible ways we can do that. One is, you know, to move from A to B, from A to B, and then from B to C. Whereas the other way is to move directly from A to C. Okay, and uh, in doing this, you can say that uh, AC, which is a vector, is said to be the sum of the vectors of these other two. Since moving from A to C directly, which is the same thing as AC as a vector, um, will achieve the same thing when you decide to break it from A to B. Um, and A to B is uh, AB then plus b to c so the implication is that a c is equal to a b plus uh, b c okay and this is called the triangular law of vector addition okay i said it is called the triangular law or the triangle law okay so and um, it holds for any two vectors so if you have in fact if you have vector pq it is the same thing as p to any other point say pr plus rq okay um that's a triangle law of vector addition and it is extended into a polygon actually so what that means is that if i now have a polygon for example something like this um and here is uh, say a b c d okay so the the what we are saying is that the vector a d for instance is equal to a b plus b c plus uh, c d okay and um, this one now can be called the polygon of vectors okay and it's just the same law under addition uh, the triangle law of addition of vectors okay uh, so and that's how to add vectors geometrically and then what if you have vectors that are represented by components all you do is to add them component wise so what we are saying is that if i have a vector a b and then i am adding vector x y to it of course, for you to add vectors that are component-wise, they must have the same dimension. That means each of the vectors must contain the same uh, number of components. And so the sum of these is simply A should be added to X. So since there are the corresponding components, and then B should be added to Y. Okay, and that's just all we do in vector addition, whether geometrically or, uh, you know, component wise and then what about subtraction the subtraction has to do with for instance if i have vector v minus vector u it is actually the same thing as vector v plus the negative of vector u and this you can actually show uh, you know you know geometrically if you want to but uh, just take note of that so they are just the same thing and so all you just need to do if it is component wise instance if i have uh, let's say my v is uh, v1 v2 and i want to subtract u from it u1 u2 so the implication is that i'm going to have v1 minus v sorry minus u1 then comma v2 minus u2 and that will give me the subtraction of uh, vectors okay 
All right, so whereas for geometrical, all you need to do is just to add the negative of that vector. So what it means is that if I say PQ minus, uh, say, QR, so what this means is that I can equally write it as PQ plus the negative of QR. And of course, you can find the negative of QR and then sum it to your PQ, and that would have given you the sum. Okay, so quickly, we are going to take examples. Now, let's look at the first example we have here. It says that if ABC is a triangle, and, uh, you know, what is the sum of the vectors represented by BC, CA, and uh, AB? Okay, so solution, uh, we are going to quickly... You know do a sketch and uh, so that that will give us a picture okay so let's take that this is our a b c assume that here is our a b and c and then they are asking us to find the sum of the vectors represented by b c uh, we can do that here sorry let's do it this way b c plus um c a plus uh, a b okay they are asking us to find the value of this and okay so in doing this kind of sum all you need to do is to apply the triangle law of um, vector addition make sure that it works now for example for this it started with b c continued with c and then ended with a so the meaning of this is that if i join these two by triangle law of vector addition I, I am going to get ba that's i'm starting with these two okay and then that's going to give me plus another ab okay and we know that ab and ba are just the uh, opposite you know there are vectors of the same magnitude but in opposite direction that means i could change any of them and if i decide to change the second one this is simply going to give me negative ba so that i will then add the two of them and i'm going to get the zero vector and someone can decide to do it in the other way around that is instead of starting with these two the person can decide to start with this other two and what is that going to be you have bc plus ca plus ab and so in this case you want to begin with uh, these two here because it is also obeying the triangle law of addition starting with ca and then continuing with a and ending with b so that means this is going to give us bc plus uh, this now and this which is uh, cb okay and as well you can see here this is just the opposite of this that means this is minus bc and that's also going to give us what zero okay so either ways you will get the same what answer and then example two quickly here we have that if the vectors of uh, a b are represented by the sides a b a c of a triangle a b c what vectors are represented by this so the same thing we are going to do here let's try to draw the triangle we have a triangle this way and they are saying that uh, this triangle is uh, triangle ABC. Let's do it this way now. Okay. And then, um, okay, sorry, let's not do it that way. Following this last part of this, it says that D is the midpoint of BC. That doesn't mean we can't do it this way, but I want our BC to be here. Okay so let me remove this and bring my b here and then take my a here so that uh, it will be easier for us okay so that means if we bisect this that means this side will be equal to this side and here will be d okay and so we want to find the value of uh, a they said the first thing we need to find is uh, bc now, meanwhile, remember that they said that A is the vector for AB. That means here is A. 
and then b is a vector for ac that means here is uh, ac which is b okay so by implication to find our bc all i need to do is i can take this root if i take this root sorry this is my bc here and so i can decide to take this root my bc can be ba plus ac of course that's what it should be not can be it should be ba plus ac and what is my ba my ba is the opposite of a b remember that a b is equal to a my a b is equal to a and uh, um, a c is equal to b so since a b is equal to a that means b a is just the negative of a and then plus a c is my b so that means that my b c is simply equal to b minus a and that's the answer and so for the second one they're asking us to find cb so cb is just the reverse of bc that means b cb is equal to minus bc and we already have bc here that means this is equal to minus b uh, minus uh, into b minus a which is going to give us a minus b and that's just the solution for that okay and then finally we will do for the third one third one says that we should find the value of ad okay and so for our ad we can take any of the roots for ad i can decide to say that my ad is equal to ab plus bd or i can say ad is equal to ac plus cd either ways you will get the same answer so i will take one way and then you will take the other as an exercise for yourself so let me say that my ad is equal to ab plus bd and now what is ab ab is giving us a and what is bd bd is the half of bc and bc is equal to bc have been gotten somewhere here okay see it here bc is b minus a that means this is going to be b minus a all over two okay so if we take lcm here this is two and we'll have two a here plus b minus a and then if uh, we decide to subtract uh this a from this two a we are going to get a left and then that is plus b all over two and that is the value of our ad and so if you take the other route you are also expected to get uh, the same solution and that's what we have for number two so quickly we go to the next example next example is also very beautiful i says if op is equal to this oq is this and or is this what is our qp rp and rq i am just going to take one of it and i will allow you to do the other two of course they are all easy and similar okay so you have given me that uh, op is two three and so you are asking for um qp and so what's my qp qp you will watch what you have here to use it to get what you want now my qp is going to be qo plus op okay remember by triangle triangle law uh, if i have qo plus op that's starting from q and ending with p and that's very perfect okay and i have oq here and i know that by negative vector that oq is just the negative of this and so i'm going to multiply this by minus and so i have this plus my op is already here which is two three and of course they give us these vectors as calling vectors and uh, it makes it beautiful so this negative is going to open this to give us uh, we'll have four five here and then plus three two okay so we'll take the sum 
which is going to give us 6, that's 4 plus 2. It's also going to be component wise, 4 plus 2 is 6, and 5 plus 3 is what? 8. And that is uh, our solution. Now, I will allow you to, you know, take time to do this other two. That is so that we can look at example 4. All right. Now, example 4 is also very simple. It says that if we have these three vectors, A, B, and C, as this, now these are component vectors also, we should find this. Okay, so here I'm going to do B, and I will allow you to do A. Okay, now remember what we said, that in component vectors, you add or subtract component-wise. So here we want to subtract, you want to do this C minus B, plus a and so that's going to give us what is our c five five minus two three minus what is our b our b is two negative three five and then plus what is our a our a is negative one three three and so we will start so it's if you like you can actually do the sum first before subtraction but either ways you will get the same solution okay so what are we going to have here now i'm going to have five minus two plus minus one five minus two is three plus minus one will give me two minus two minus minus three it will give me minus two plus three which is one and then plus three and that's four then uh, comma here i'm going to have three um minus five that's minus two plus three and that is one and another way you could have done this is first of all take this subtraction and get the vector and then you now add either ways you will always have the same solution so i would allow you to take this one as an exercise and then not just that you will also look at this uh, B and C and then check the other one I left here that is D okay I did all the exercises here um, uh, okay is there any other one okay no other exercise so just uh, our this thing is what you would have to do okay and that's where we're going to end it you know in this class all right so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel if you are yet to do so like uh, comment and share our youtube videos and we will see you in our next video bye